you're an individual right now who is considering getting a career, obtaining a career in cybersecurity, right? You've been told you're going to make great money and you're going to have job security for the rest of your life. Why don't do that? I mean, why don't do that, right? But you don't know, you're questioning whether this career path is really for you. I'm here to answer that question by giving you 10 qualities that prospective employers are going to look for in a cybersecurity employee. Hello everyone, my name is Grant. Today I'm going to be giving you 10 qualities uh, that are going to really launch you forward or at least portray or foreshadow if you are wired for a degree or a career in cybersecurity. So let's go ahead and get started. So number one is you are an analytical thinker, right? So you're gonna be someone who likes to have facts, uh, who likes to have statistics, who likes to base their decisions off of logical reason and not really emotion or like, you know, what, uh, you know, what does he say? What does she say? You are somebody who likes to see the facts and you're gonna be someone who efficiently works through that and that's what you're gonna do. If you're an analytical thinker and you're an analytical listener, that is one, quality that can foreshadow if you are geared for a career in cybersecurity. Number two is you like to problem solve. Now you could be saying to yourself, all careers, whether they're in business or marketing or in medical, they're problem solving. And specifically for IT security or any IT career field for that reason, you're going to be problem solving the IT needs of a business. Um, so are you someone who likes to take on a problem uh, and efficiently take that problem on and like working through those problems. Stereotypically speaking, uh, the media portrays the IT security world as the hacker breaking into the, the system with the green lines of codes and getting your financial information. And there is no doubt that actually is real to some extent. Uh, you can become an ethical hacker. And so the third one is, do you like to break into systems? Um, do you like to are you someone who likes to break into systems and then provide solutions for that to harden them down? Number four is being ethical. Are you somebody who has an ethical profile, uh, an ethical portfolio, an ethical background? Employers are really going to look hard into this. Uh, in fact, you can even say the certification, Certified Ethical Hacker, is for a reason. Ethics is really involved with cybersecurity because you're going to be dealing with a lot of financial, personal HR records, um, business trade secrets, a lot of that information you are going to be able to have access to and see uh, depending on the role you are in. You could steal all those documents and you could be on your merry way, but you have to be ethical because eventually you'll be caught and and being ethical is, is very important. Number five, continuous education. Are you somebody who likes to continually learn? Here's why. In cybersecurity, the industry is constantly changing. I'm sure you hear that all the time. And there's no doubt it is changing. It's changing rapidly, very quickly. New tools, new technologies, new techniques, they're all happening so quickly. And you have to be somebody who stays up with those techniques, who stays updated, and who knows how to work through problems with updated information. So are you somebody who likes continuous education? And a perfect example is just IT security certifications themselves. They're there for a reason. You know, you have to continually educate yourself and understand the industry as a whole as it continues to evolve. Number six, flexibility. Uh, are you someone who is flexible? Now, you could be saying to yourself, IT security, you're just trying to focus on the security of a system, that's it. And don't be wrong, that's very true. You do have to work on the security of a system. You have to harden those systems down. But at the same time, you have to have end user usability, right? I mean, you can't just use something and it's, you can't just use something that's going to be super locked down and you can barely use it. You know, you have to kind of have a compromise between usability and security. And so being flexible in the way you're thinking and the way you consider your options and the problems uh, that you solve, being flexible with those solutions, that's going to be very important. Number seven, are you somebody who is a hard worker? Um, cybersecurity is going to require you to learn a lot, like I said before. Um, but honestly, you're going to have to do a ton of self-study. Uh, and that really requires you to work hard towards your career. And so are you going to be somebody who is passionate about your career and work at a certain cause? You know, you can't be someone who half half does, half does a job. You, know, you have to be willing to work through something and work through it uh, effectively. Number eight, being up for challenges. Are you somebody who likes challenges? Uh, particularly with technology, of course, 
but a challenge that is going to take multiple solutions, um, multiple areas, multiple ways to get involved? Are you somebody who likes to be up for a challenge and use your problem solving skills to take those challenges on? Number nine is being adaptive and responsive. Now this could be a perfect example of an incident responser or a cybersecurity analyst who works in the networking operations center or a security operations center. Uh, these are gonna be people who are gonna have to be really adaptive and responsive to the alerts coming in, uh, what they deem as necessary or, or as highly of high importance. You need to be adaptive, you have to respond to those quickly. And those kinds of careers are gonna require that you be very adaptive and responsive. And number 10, this is probably the most important one. Are you passionate about your career, about technology in general? Um, I think, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can make a lot of money, you can have a lot of job security, but if you're not passionate, man, you are gonna have a dull life. You are gonna be sitting at a computer oftentimes, especially at an entry level career, and you're gonna be doing kind of the low level work within the security world if you're trying to directly get into security. And so are you passionate about where you wanna be? Cause that's gonna help you advance your career. I talk about this so often on my website. You have to be passionate because the money and the, the job security, they're gonna come, but if you're not passionate, you are gonna have a very dull existence regarding your career. So these are some of the 10 qualities. You don't necessarily have to have all of these. In fact, as a student, I have, I do not have all of these. Uh, but these are some qualities that would foreshadow that you are, would be rather good with a career in cybersecurity, that you would be talented, that you'd be skilled, and you'd be hard enough, hard enough worker to, to develop a career in cybersecurity. And if you're looking to really find a particular jobs within IT security that require a certain quality, um, like, for instance, like I said, uh, breaking into systems, penetration testing, or instant responding with uh, being responsive and adaptive. If you're looking for particular jobs in IT security that require that quality itself, like hardcore, uh, you can check out my post and I just have uh, just an outline of the, the jobs within certain jobs in IT security that require that quality. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you can find this information, although I really want to help you and uh, really help you get geared, wired for a career in cybersecurity, and be passionate about what you do. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of grit, but at the same time, it's very uh, rewarding and also there is benefits uh, to pursuing a career in cybersecurity. So thank you for watching and have a good day.